Standardized tests. Friend or foe? Proponents say standardized tests are a fair and objective measure of student achievement and that they ensure that teachers and schools are accountable to taxpayers. However, opponents say the tests are neither fair nor objective, that their use promotes a narrow curriculum and drill-like teaching to the test, and that excessive testing undermines America's ability to produce innovators and critical thinkers. That being said, we decided to do a little research of our own, and so we sought out students to hear their stance on the issue. First off, we asked the students their views on standardized testing. I think testing is very important because it shows how well everyone knows what they've been taught and it shows everyone how well the teacher is teaching them. Uh, my take on standardized testing is I think it doesn't make you smarter, but it allows the school to see how well you've been doing. So I mean, I guess it's a good like check on how you're doing. I don't like it very much. It's, it takes too long to bubble in the answers and I just hate taking them. <laughs> you know, I don't really support it that much. I'm not a big fan of it. Because if you like judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life and it's stupid. I think it can be good to measure the general knowledge of the student, but not really their IQ and like their overall smartness, but it's a pretty average measurement to see how much they've came along over the years. The students seem to be split about the helpfulness of standardized tests, so we decided to go find a professional opinion. Mr. Ford, what is your stance on standardized testing, and do you believe that there may be alternatives more beneficial to assessing the progress of the student? Uh, well, there are alternatives, and there are different ways that we assess uh, student achievement. Uh, colleges, universities, employers, uh, even you know, for different purposes here at school, we use different assessment methods. A standardized test is a tool. The good thing about standardized tests when you're comparing kids from different communities, cities, states, or even countries, it's the only way, it's the only constant in which you can gauge everyone. If you give the same test to everybody, whether the scores are high, whether the scores are low, at least it's a part of a, a, a criterion, and it's a tool that can be used when you're trying to gauge maybe who should get in or who should get the job and who should not get the job. But you've got to uh, take it with a grain of salt. You've got to make sure that, um, you know, not to use it exclusively, but in conjunction with someone's grade point average, in conjunction with maybe other tests, you take a look at uh, all the assessment criteria and is there an anomaly? or is there some consistency amongst, uh, amongst that. Overall, I think uh, they have their usefulness, but you have to take them within context of other criteria that there is available out there. We concluded that even though some students seem to dislike the practice of standardized testing, it provides a good measure of a student's knowledge in the subject being tested. 